So I often get asked, Jambu, how do you do this crazy L1 sprint boost that gets you so many goals? Well, today it is your lucky day because I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do it. Leave a like if you enjoy and it helps. Subscribe and you will improve. I don't know why you wouldn't at this point. Make sure you subscribe right now. You will improve at this game for free. And comment down below if you have any questions at all. Let's get into it. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so we're going to keep the video the same structure as normal. I'm going to help you improve at all aspects of the game. We go into Elite Division Rivals. I'll tell you my exact thought process, but today we will have a little emphasis on the L1 Sprint Boost, of course, because that is what you guys are here for. So hopefully you enjoy it. Win, lose, or draw, as always. This video will be going up. There's always something to learn, even if we lost, which we haven't in one of these videos yet. But let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so one thing you guys need to do in this video, especially for the L1 Sprint Boost, is to actually take note of the controller input in the top right, because it's actually a lot easier to do than it is to explain. Uh, but let's get into it. So we're going to offside trap from minute one, as we always do. Uh, get our line nice and high, not give anything up easy for those cheesy kickoff goals goals that we so often see uh, just keeping the line nice and high manually marking in behind as you can see we do step in and win the ball back stupidly give it to him we've got to watch for the cutback here gonna move the keeper across and we do concede it happens man um, we've had a couple of times where you know we've gone in behind like in a game and it's all about uh just doing the right things in order to bring us back. So that is what we're going to do here as well. Uh, Crossfield switch. We're going to call Salah short with R1. Uh, L1 sprint boost here. So we hold L1 and then we use the left stick to obviously choose the direction we're going to go. And then we press R1 just as we let go. No, R2, sorry. Just as we let go of L1. Uh, I'll explain it a lot better in another example. Uh, but you see here, we get the ball. Uh, we baited a run down the line. We're actually going to switch it across and go again uh, for a driven pass here. And I messed it up. Rough start to the game. Like I say, it happens, man. It just does. Uh, we've got to cover this space. He's going to go for Haaland again. Um, really good play from the opponent. We do win the ball back. And we've got to try and make sure we keep it a little bit better. We're giving the ball away way too much right now. This is... Uh, a bit of painful viewing. Again there, L1 and we hold sprint. We're doing it again. L1 and then we press sprint. I mean, you just accelerate away. You can get some crazy animations. We go for it again here. L1 and then we release sprint. You see how we just like burst away? Uh, super, super effective. You know, you can burst past a defender. There's not many things in this game that actually allow you to take on a player. But this L1 sprint boost is one of them. So we're going to try and line one up again here with Salah. Actually, really good step in from his player. Um, I actually probably use this move, I don't even know how many times a game, but I'm always doing it. Even again, just there with Beckham, you see I held L1 and then uh, release. We're going to go for it again here with Salah. L1, release to sprint. And there we go. It ends up getting us the goal. Um, I use it in all different areas of the pitch, you know, in and around the opponent's box, whether I'm just trying to go down the line. Sometimes even in midfield, you'll see me using it. I've genuinely added it as like an integral part of my game. And I think if you guys do as well, you're going to find a lot of success with it. We get the ball with Modric. I'm looking for an inside pass here. We're going to bait the player lock just to give us a few extra yards. As you can see, he fell for it, uh, as everybody tends to do. Driven pass now to the edge. Another driven pass. Uh, R1 dribbling with Ousmane Dembele. And we will take our free kick. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to take this one short. Play it straight back to Modric. We'll take another free kick. You know, why not? Uh, we're actually going to go for goal with this one. We're going to take it nice and quick so we can't move the keeper. And that is an awful free kick from me. That's what you get for trying to rush it. Uh, little ball roll to keep possession. We're going to spray it back out to the other wing now. Um, we'll call Salah short, send him on a run, call him short again. Just try and play with our opponent a little bit, mess up his head. Uh, we will turn inside. Nothing really on here, so we're having to recycle. You'll see this a lot at a high level. It's just absolutely necessary. Uh, when people are really good at manual pressing, there's just not always a lot of space to work with. Uh, but chip through ball there. We're going to go for another chip through ball. Uh, we're going to bait a player lock again just to give us a little bit more time. Cut it back to the edge of the box. Little drag back. 
brilliant defending from our opponent, to be fair to him. Uh, we got to cover the run in behind to Haaland. We do very well. Uh, our opponent's team's a little bit out of shape now, so we're going to try and attack quickly and exploit that. Uh, we'll go back to Teo Hernandez. Driven pass into the middle. Uh, driven pass into Salah. Wait for the keeper movement, and we find the back of the net. Offside traps once again. Hopefully, there's more opportunities for me to show you guys this L1 uh, sprint boost. Uh, I've scored some absolutely insane goals of it where we just burst round defenders, uh, but it's all very, very situational. Uh, Got to be careful of the in-behind run here. Second man press uh, sort of screws us over a bit there, but we've got an opportunity with Salah now. So you can see here, we change the angle, L1 sprint boost, really good tackle. Uh, it's actually better off of a first touch than it is when you're controlling the ball, so do try and keep that in mind. Uh, we'll go for a little 1-2 here. Driven pass into Salah. Uh, we get super unlucky there. Do actually end up winning the ball back, but we give it back to him like an idiot. Uh, driven pass from Virgil. Driven pass from Neymar to Puskas. And then we're trying to find Teo on the outside now. Uh, Modric has great passing, but not on this occasion, apparently. Aggressive step in with Beckham. Uh, we will find Puskas out wide now. And this is time for the R1 dribbling out wide. Super OP. Ah, that is disgusting. Not a penalty, apparently. Mind-blowing EA. EA Sports, what are you smoking over there? Um, okay, we've got to mark the running behind. Haaland is always that threat, of course. And he's actually done us crazy. We've got to watch for the cutback. I stepped in aggressively to prevent him doing it. Uh, we're going to try and find Neymar now. Uh, we do have a run on the inside. We're looking for the cutback here. That's all we're ever going to go for in that position. We square it to Puskas. And we do find the back of the net. So that's really nice stuff. Um, got to be careful here. We'll step in with Van Dijk. Little L1 sprint boost there with Salah. You see how I accelerate away? And again there. And again there. That is a great example. That is a triple, a triple L1 Jambu sprint boost. Uh, perfect example. Just look at the controller input if you guys are, you know, unsure. But basically, you hold L1. You then uh, sort of line up the direction you're going to go and then release L1 and hold sprint. And that is it. Um, it can be a bit tricky at first, but once you actually get used to it, good goal from our opponent. Once you actually get used to it, um, it just becomes second nature. Like, there's never a time I mess it up. Like, I may get tackled, for example, but actually executing the speed boost um you, you know you you will just never actually mess it up once it's in your muscle memory but not a bad half from us this opponent's pretty decent it's been a little bit of a messy game uh in terms of unneeded turnovers you know we're giving the ball back to each other messing up some passes here and there but overall solid you know we're going into half time with a lead which is always nice okay so going into the second half now and it really it's more of the same uh, you'll get these games in champs where it's a fairly tight game, but you feel comfortable. Uh, and for me, this is one of those. We're trying to find Salah on the overlap. Nice little chip through ball. Uh, this is not a bad position to just try and work something on the edge here. We will try and play it back to Salah. Good interception from our opponent, though. Uh, he actually went for an L1 sprint boost there. He knows. He's got the inside scoop. Um, good throw in. Just recycle possession here. No need to rush anything at all. He thinks we're going to go down the line. We'll just take our time with it. Uh, we'll play a long pass with Virgil. Try and work the ball back into the middle now. Uh, with Modric. Oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? Jambu, sort yourself out pretty please. Uh, good aggressive tackle there. Uh, we've got an opportunity for a little sort of counter here. L1 sprint boost. You can see we get the... Uh, the playstyle animation off of it as well with some players. And with those guys, it works even better. Uh, so if you have, you know, the likes of Ousmane Dembele, this L1 sprint boost is going to be even more effective for you. Okay, so we'll see if we can work something from the corner here. Uh, we wait and then we go for the back post. Teo Hernandez, awful, awful, awful header. Uh, we're going to offside trap from our opponent's kickoff as we always do. Get our line nice and high. Nearly stepped in and win the ball there, but we didn't quite. Uh, Modric is battling, bless him, but he doesn't have the physicality of a Frankie de Jong. Uh, we've got to watch the inside. He's going to try and cut the ball back in, like for sure. Um, he went for that cut back. We actually marked it really well. 
and we end up coming out with the ball. We're going to recycle it over to Salah, and we'll go for a little one-two down the line. We'll drill pass in. Uh, we've now got it with Uzman, who just doesn't have the strength, sadly. Got to be careful here. Our opponent has won the ball back. He's player locking down the line. Uh, we've got to watch this run in behind, as we do, but we get super unlucky. Uh, we win it back with Modric. We trigger Salah to run down the line. Uh, we fake the pass inside and then actually play it to him. Little driven pass, another driven pass. I went for the L1 sprint boost, but he tackled me before I could get it off, which is super sad. Um, win the ball back. We get it with Teo Hernandez. Good tackle from Vidic. Uh, we got to press him there. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to get the ball. Good throw in there to Ousman. Nice. We look for the cutback now. Wasn't really on. We sort of got crowded out, which is unfortunate. Another offside trap just to get that line nice and high, as always. Second man press gets us the tackle. I'm going to drag Puskas back now just to have another body there. Uh, we've got to cover the run of Adama. That guy has serious pace. L1 sprint boost with Modric. Great tackle from the opponent. Second man pressing. We do manually switch, win it back. We'll spray it back out to the wing. And now we will go for an L1 sprint boost. You see how we just dart round him? Absolutely nothing he can do about it. They're so, so effective. There we go. L1 sprint boost down the wing. We cut the ball back inside. And it ends up getting us the goal. That is brilliant play. A good example of actually using the sprint boost as well. Uh, to create a goal scoring opportunity there. Uh, we'll use another L1 sprint boost here. Nothing to come of it that time. We'll call him back short. Oh, he's unlucky. It would have been a nice little bit of play, that, but he's managed to uh, to get away with it. Got to cover Zaha. He's going to go for the inside. That is Blanc's hitbox right there. Uh, crazy interception. Oh, wow, that was a risky pass. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll second man press. We'll try and get a little bit aggressive to him. Oh, that's so rigged. That's so rigged. What's going on? How has he got the ball? Okay, we'll reset now. Uh, we're two goals up with 20 minutes left, so there's re really no need, you know, to for any risks. Um, <laughs> I say that, and he's absolutely pressing us off the park right now. Uh, he went for an L1 there. I moved the keeper, and he's actually read it super well. This opponent's really good at that. He did it for one of the other goals as well. So at this point, one goal lead um, with only 15 minutes to go. And it's just about game management now. If we can get the opponent frustrated to the point where he's pulling players out, we may be able to create another goal-scoring chance. But the priority, really, in a situation like this is actually just keeping the ball, uh, not doing anything stupid, which is easier said than done against constant pressure. But that's what we've got to try and aim to do. So we're going to recycle the ball up to our other fullback. We'll call Salah short with R1. Uh, go for a little 1-2. We're actually not going to play it. We'll recycle once again. And then same again. we we'll call our player short with uh, R1. He nearly steps in and gets the ball. And this isn't pretty viewing. I know it's not. But at a high level, you are forced to play like this. There's no other way of getting out of the press. Um, it's either that or I give the opponent the ball back. And I know which one I'd rather. A uh, little player lock inside. Really good press from the opponent. He's going to try and hit a inside pass here or one down the line. We do win the ball back. Play the ball into Ousman. I went for a ball roll scoop, but unfortunately uh, his Blanc is crazy. Got to mark this run in behind. You can see he's got an option there with Frankie. He's going to find the Dharma now. He tries to cut the ball inside. L1 sprint boost with Puskas. Uh, we're going to send him right down the line. <clears throat> can we get the touch? Yes, we can. Little fake shot inside. Oh, we went for an Elastico. His press is absolutely insane right now. Uh, offside trap. He's going to try and play it back to Zaha, of course. We're going to mark that. Uh, at this point now, the opponent shouldn't touch the ball again. Only a couple of minutes left. His press is sort of depleted. Like his players are absolutely knackered. Uh, really good switch across. We'll call our player short. We're actually not going to use the option. He has... He actually predicted that switch. That could have been really, really dangerous. Uh, at this point now, we're just going to be rats. You know, 
Sometimes you just have to in FIFA. Uh, but we'll see the ball out for the win. Hopefully this gave you guys like a better understanding of the L1 sprint boost and just general things in the game. If you have any more questions, please do let me know. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It will be doing yourself and me a favour. And peace. I'll catch you next time.